What is up friends? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Vlogmas Day 18. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm happy to have you. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that bell icon to be notified when I release a new video. I'm still waiting on my results from the nurses to let me know whether or not I have COVID, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that stop me from enjoying my day and creating content for you guys that's enjoyable to watch. So I decided to make a whipped coffee. Back in the shelter in place quarantine days, whipped coffee was the shit. That's all everybody was making. And I decided why not try to make it again, but I'm gonna add a little twist because this time I'm gonna make it with mud water and instant coffee. So if you don't know what mud water is, look it up, but it's pretty much a coffee alternative. It has different types of mushroom powders. It has turmeric, pepper, a lot of spices. It's really, really yummy. A coworker of mine actually gave me a bag of mud water just because she loved it so much and wanted me to try it. So I have a little bit left and it's really, really delicious. I don't recommend it if you're not into the earthy flavors. It's not sweet. It's very, um, earthy. It just tastes like mushroom powder and turmeric and cinnamon and all those things. So if that's not your jam, don't make it, but I'm gonna make a mud water whipped coffee. I wanna show you guys how to do it. I have never made this before, but I'm down to try it out and taste it at the end and let you guys know what I think. So um, we're gonna make it together. Join me for today's vlog. Let's have fun and let's make some whipped coffee. So here I have all my ingredients laid out. I'm gonna use this original soy milk. I'm gonna use granulated sugar. Here I have my mud water that a coworker gave to me a while ago and she gave me a full bag of mud water because she loved it so much. And this is all that I have left because I have just been drinking it like it's nothing. It's so delicious. And then I'm gonna be using this Cafe Bustelo Instant Coffee. This is my favorite coffee brand. Here I have my measuring spoons. Here I have my trusty mud water frother that my coworker also gave me when she gave me the mud water. I have my little coffee with my favorite glass straw. I have more glass straws right here and I actually, I think around this time last year, I made a vlog about these straws. So I will try to link them in the description box below if you are interested in getting some beautiful glass reusable straws. They also came with this little brush right here so that you can clean them. And in here, I'm gonna warm up some hot water. All right, so I just microwaved this water for about 30 seconds. This is a quarter cup of water. If I remember correctly, the measurements are one tablespoon of instant coffee to one tablespoon of hot water to one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of mud water into the mix, froth it all together until it gets all thick and delicious, and then I'm gonna add soy milk and ice. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna do a one tablespoon of water. One tablespoon of instant coffee. One tablespoon of granulated sugar. Okay. And then one tablespoon of mud water. Here we go. So after about two minutes of frothing, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a syrupy consistency. And I remember when I used to make this without the mud water, it would turn into like a peanut butter consistency um, very quickly. So I don't know if it's the mud water that's preventing it from getting frothy, but I, you know, honestly, I think I'm just gonna try it like this because it looks pretty thick. So I'm down to just add the milk, maybe froth it a little more and then add some ice.
Mm. Wow. This is delicious. This just tastes like chocolate milk. Yeah, it just tastes like chocolate milk with caffeine. This is really delicious. It's not as thick and frothy as I thought it would be. But honestly, I'm not mad about this because this is just, it's still easy to drink. It's very milky. You can taste the instant coffee. You can taste the mud water. You can taste the sweetness, but it's not too sweet. This is very refreshing. I would drink this on, you know, a summer afternoon sitting outside in the sun, 89 degrees out. I would drink this right now when it's like 48 degrees in California with a sweater on. I'm definitely gonna make this again and I hope you guys try this. If you have mud water and instant coffee, you really should try to make this. This is really, really delicious. I rate this like a nine out of 10. The only reason why nine instead of 10 out of 10 is just because I would have wanted it to be a little thicker, a little thicker, but not mad. Delicious, cheers you guys. So this is the outfit I'm wearing these super cozy holiday pants. These are my favorite. I'm wearing this pink champion sweater I got in Vancouver, Canada at Urban Outfitters about like five years ago. And I'm wearing my favorite socks. These say, take no shit, give no fucks. I got these at the Ferry Building in San Francisco and I wear them all the time. I'm drinking my little coffee. Since I can't really go anywhere, I'm just chilling here in the house. I think uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can do any more finishing touches on this painting um, and just try to make it as pretty as possible. And then I also want to just clean the house a little bit. This fridge right here is a disaster on all levels. She needs a detox, she needs some TLC. So I think the plan is that I'm gonna drink my little coffee and I'm gonna just clean the fridge, organize it, sanitize it, throw away any food that is not good anymore, that's expired. And yeah, I'm gonna make that the little project of the day. I'm gonna finish up the painting and yeah, we're just gonna call it a day, so. Clean your fridge with me if you need to. You probably do. And yeah, let's just have fun, you guys. So I I um, bought my boyfriend a new phone case for his birthday that's coming tomorrow. And for Christmas, I actually found the perfect gift. I decided to get this beard bib. It's a beard apron. Um, if you have a boyfriend or if you're a man, you know that when you gotta cut your beard, you gotta trim your beard, cut your facial hair, you have to like usually do it over the sink because that's usually where the mirrors are and you're just trimming your beard hairs and the hairs are falling in the sink so that's a pet peeve of mine just because there's always it doesn't matter how thoroughly you think you're gonna clean the sink and pick up the little hairs I always find little hairs and my concern is clogging the sink so I decided to get this for my boyfriend and it's coming right before Christmas I think it's coming on the 20th of December so that combined with his face masks that I'm getting him and his little car freshener for Christmas, I think that's a pretty good gift and it's very efficient, it's useful. So I'm super excited. I just wanna share that in case any of you are looking for a gift for your husbands, your fathers, your grandparents, or your boyfriend or yourself, um, I think it's a really good gift. So I will try to link that down below as well if any of you are interested. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. I am gonna clean my fridge and play some jams. I find that like reggaeton or bachata or like Latin gaming music, if you know what I mean, like Tokisha, Rosalia, J Balvin, Osuna, music like that really helps me stay productive and focused because it's fun music to listen to. I'm dancing, I'm cleaning. Also uh, St. John, his new song that he just released a few days ago, is so good it's called the best part of life i think i'm gonna play that first and then go into my latin jams while i clean this up so yeah just play some music you can also follow me on spotify i have all these playlists um really good music so go check that out <laughs>
fridge. I sanitized the inside and outside, threw away everything that wasn't good anymore, saved everything that was good and consolidated it. Um, and then I washed the dishes and stuff. So now I'm sitting on the couch working on the painting and I just wanted to say I appreciate everybody who's watched my videos, who's commented, who's supported me. Um, you guys are amazing and I also just wanted to ask how you guys are doing. I know that the holiday season can be a very stressful time for many and can be very sad and lonely for some people. So yeah, I just wanted to ask like how you are doing, you personally, how are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Are you excited for the Christmas time? Are you not excited? Are you anxious? Are you not? Um, leave a comment down below and just let me know how you're doing, what your plans are for the holiday season, um, what you're planning on giving people, if you're expecting anything in particular as a gift. Leave a comment down below and let's, let's talk. So I hope you're all okay. I hope you're safe. Take care of yourselves. I'm gonna stay here and just finish my painting, but I'm gonna end the vlog and I will See you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is my boyfriend's birthday, so I will try to make a vlog, but if I don't upload tomorrow, just know that I'm probably gonna be just spending time with my boyfriend, but I will try my best if I do get the results to let you guys know. I'll try to make a vlog. If I don't post though, now you know why. We'll see what happens, but I love you all. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 19. Bye.